Let's learn how to make pop-up SVG files in Inkscape. We're gonna walk through on Inkscape how to create this 3D pop-up effect for your cards. Now this might not work for every image or every SVG file that you're trying to do, but we're gonna go through some of the techniques to create this kind of effect. If you haven't already and you're new to SVG design in Inkscape, I highly suggest going through to my Inkscape 101 tutorials and starting there. Let's jump into Inkscape and create this file. So like I said before, I'm not going to go too far into the actual design, and this should work for a lot of different designs that you want to work with. However, I don't wanna say this is going to work with every single SVG because I haven't tested out um, different kinds of like flowers, different sizes. So if you walk through this, it will give you a general idea on the sizing and techniques that you need for a 3D pop-up card. So you're going to be working with strokes, and if you need to go back, I definitely suggest starting with SVG basics because I'm gonna just be using a lot of different terms and not going into it. So we're gonna be working with strokes in this because at the end we're going to be differencing into our background, our insert, so we don't want to have any sort of fill when we're doing our SVG. When you're doing this, however, I doubled my SVG file, so once I had the whole mom written out, I actually duplicated it. So like this heart and this M and I had that filled off to the side so that when I sent it over to my Cricut, it actually had like a top part, like another layer basically. So I had the pop out insert and then I cut out the heart out of gold and I cut the M out of pink so that I had two layers because your pop out is only going to be your basic backing insert color. So I don't know how else to say that. So it's not going to have like any dimension or anything like fun to it. It's just going to be a basic pop out. And I am working with a font. So make sure that your font is turned into an object before you change over to your strokes. So that way you can use your strokes and they actually have nodes. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is remove these segments. So I'm using the delete segments, the not this one. <laughs> I'm using the delete segments. So this breaks the segment. We wanna delete them in between the bottom and the top. Now, if you're working with a different letter, you just wanna make a space where we're going to add in a perforation line over a full cut line. So we wanna delete those and then we're going to make extensions up, not down yet, just we're focusing on the top of your image or your letter. So I didn't do anything to the heart yet, we will do that later, but I deleted the segments between the tops of the M's because that's where I'm going to extend the pop out, that's where it's going to pop out from the M. So depending on your image, it doesn't matter where you really put this, how big it is, but you want it to be a straight line up. And again, we're only working with strokes. So I use my Bezier tool over on the side to draw a straight line up. So you can see I'm grabbing my Bezier and I'm drawing a straight line. I don't want it to connect, so I'm going to just make it far away, and I'm just drawing a line, making sure the nodes are perfectly straight, and then I'm going to have it go over and connect, and now I'm duplicating that. I want those top points across the entire SVG to be the same. So this is going to be our, our main height, and that's the one I want you to focus on. And so now we're moving over to our heart. We can extend this one a little bit up since the heart is sitting a little bit lower. Um, it's not even that it's sitting lower. The top point is actually the same because I made them the same height. But we wanna make sure that the top points of these lines are all equal across the top. And you can use your align and distribute when you're in your nodes section to make sure all of those are the same. You can also just use align and distribute when you're not in the nodes, but just make sure that all of them are even across the board. That's your main part. And we will fix where they connect on the heart later on. Um, I don't want to worry about making our space there. So this is how your SVG should look. They should have an extension and that's what's going to make it pop out. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to combine it. So you're going to go to combine. Make sure before you do that, you duplicate this little marking. That's going to be our measure for where we put this SVG inside the insert. So now we're going to go to path and then combine. Make sure you go to combine and not union. If you go to union, it's going to completely mess up all of the lines. So make sure you do combine. I use that when I'm using strokes. 
Then I went ahead and I duplicated that M and you'll see there's a little glitch here. For some reason, it's showing that these are not combined, but they are. And we will use that later to distribute everything out. But I just made sure that everything was even again at the top. That is your main priority is making sure they're all even across the top with those extensions. So now let's add in some nodes to our heart in between those two lines we just added. Um, so I just added on some nodes onto the line and then use that um, delete segment. So I'm doing the same thing on the other side. I just add in some nodes to the line and then delete the segment in between. And now it's just like the M where we have that space. And just like we did for the M's, we're going to want to highlight over those extensions and the heart and go to combine to make that all one uniform stroke. So now you'll see there was a glitch. Again, I don't know why that happened, but I'm going to grab all of my files here except for that little piece at the bottom. And I'm going to align those evenly so that they are spaced out properly. And now I'm going to combine all three of these because now this is the one SVG file all together. So we have these two pieces at the bottom, right? These two lines. And these are important because your distance between the bottom of the SVG and the middle of the insert of the card need to be the same as the distance of the pop out at the top. God, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so I'm grabbing a rectangle and this is going to be our card insert. Obviously, you need to have this pop out of something. And so we're going to make a an insert and you can make this, I guess, any size you really want. I'm going to make mine 4.5 by 8.5. And I had my lock on and I use inches, by the way. So I'm just changing it 8.5 high and 4.5 across. And now I'm grabbing my Bezier tool again, and I'm going to make a, sh a line for in the middle. This is where your, your score line or perforation line is going to be where the card folds. So you want to make sure I'm making it a little bit smaller. I think I made it 4.3. And then I'm just using my align feature to center that. Don't worry about the dashes yet for perforation. And if you want to learn more about how to make perforation lines, please go to my video on that. I will link it below in the description. But now I am aligning that that guide that we had saved before, those two little lines. I am going to align that to the middle of this card. And so you want it to be in the middle. That's because we're going to align the mom to it. It really doesn't need to be in the middle. But you want it to be aligned to the top. Like, I don't know how else to say this. To the top and um, right on that line. So this is how you want it to look. You don't want it to be overlining. This is your distance from the bottom of your M to the line. It'll make more sense when I move over my SVG. So let me just bring this up to the front. And now I'm going to bring my mom file down. I just kept moving it around because I have on the connection right now. So I'm going to just manually bring it down with my um, my keys. And then you can actually grab both the little lines and you can align them down to the bottom. So I centered it and aligned it to the bottom. So now I know that space is from the bottom of the M to the middle of my card. This is exactly how you want it placed. It does not matter how big you make the pop up. But what you want is that the, the spacing is the same. I hope that makes sense. So it's very important that you make these two little line guides so you duplicate them and have them. So now just like before, I am going to take this guide because the heart, the only reason I'm doing this on the heart is because um, the point is going to be really hard to connect. Um, like the M is a flat bottom, so that's pretty easy. And we kind of want that the same for the heart. And since I duplicated my SVG, um, I have the heart already to be cut out. So like you, like I said, you want to have the SVG duplicated at the beginning. That way you can cut that out in different colors um, and then have your pop-up separate. So I am just, I combined those. So I used, um, I use a lot of short keys so I don't go up to my path and then combine. I combined these two extra strokes and now I'm just adding in some nodes and I am going to delete just like we did, delete the segment in between. So the points Go to delete segment and now you have your two lines down at the same height you have your all your lines at the top and we are almost ready to like send this over like this is kind of how the pop-up is and if you even sent this over and you could just fold it manually if you wanted but i go through and i add in some perforation lines just to make it a little easier to fold 
So now we're going to add in our perforation lines. You can also keep these as score lines if that's what you prefer. You just aren't going to connect them. You're going to change them to score lines um, over in Cricut Design Space. And I go into that in my scoring and perforation line video. So again, just refer back to that if you need to. But you want these to be even across the top and in between all of your letters. So like wherever it's at the top and then also in between that heart. And you're also going to want it where the M bends. So like there's going to be a bend at the top to pop it out from the backing. Then it's going to need to bend back down, right, to cause that M to be standing out. And then you're also going to need a bend at the bottom of your letter and at the bottom of your heart. So I actually didn't um, align these and I definitely should have, but this is how you're going to put it across and you want these across the entire SVG. So you're just going to add in all these lines. I literally just duplicated them. They are stroke lines. Make sure you're not moving your backing at all. Make sure you're not moving that middle piece. Like you need that to stay aligned where it is. You wanna make sure all of your stuff is staying put. So anything you're adding in, you don't wanna be moving that backing. You don't wanna be moving that middle score line because that is exactly where it needs to be placed. That's very, very important for the pop-up to work right and the card to fold properly. So now I'm just duplicating this. You're adding it to the bottom. Make sure you line up any lines that might be different from the bottom, like on the heart. For the M's, they're pretty much the same, but for the heart, obviously, there's only one compared to the two at the top. Um, and so I'm just going to delete these in two nodes, and then I'm going to move over the nodes. And you can move nodes by going into node mode and then moving them over. My only other suggestion, I'm saving this because I was like, oh my God, I'm going to end up having it cancel and close out. So um, just make sure you're saving as you go along because sometimes Inkscape can be a little finicky. So make sure that your um, perforation lines are not huge at the, at the bottom because you don't want them to be too small and then not connected to the card and then your card rip. So now I'm just going through and I am going to duplicate those top lines and I'm going to move them down to right where that um, second fold is going to be. So again, you'll see me move like the back a million times. You want to make sure it's staying where it needs to be because that's literally one of the most important parts of the pop-up card. So zoom in if you need to, to move this because it's such a pain. I'm not even joking. I must have moved it about 50 times. I wanted to scream. So you just want to move your um, your score lines, not your score lines, sorry, your stroke lines here, your perforation lines, and then you can just um, align them to the top. And that is where all of your folds are going to be. And like I mentioned before, if you need to go into node mode, you can go in and adjust the size of these perforation lines. Like you don't want them to be too, too big. You want them to just give a little bit of a dash so that's easier to fold. Um, you can also keep these separate. You'll see I'm going to combine them onto the main SVG file. You can keep them separate and just change them into score lines over in um, Cricut Design Space rather than have them cut into perforation lines. It's totally up to you. You have everything sized the way you want it sized. You can go through and you can combine all of these if you want them to be perforation lines. That's the way I did it. Uh, so that's the way I'm going to show it, obviously. So I'm grabbing the main SVG and those three sets of perforation lines and I'm combining them. I just used the shortcut of command K. Um, you can go to path and combine as well. From here, you're going to go into your stroke style once everything is combined. And just on that mom SVG, you're going to change the width to 0 0.01. It's going to be super, super, super thin. That is what you want. You want it to be as thin as you can make it. Now from here, I had to kind of go back because I was having some glitches with my perforation lines. So you need to do your perforation lines um, with the mom SVG or they might cause a glitch in your uh, actual uh, stroke line. So just, or not your stroke lines, your path now. So just do your perforation line first. You're gonna change it over to the dashes. And again, you can go watch that full tutorial. You're gonna go to path and then make it stroke to path so that it's now an, an object. And now I'm just deleting all of the perforation lines that are over or overlapping any of my mom SVG. So I'm only going to have a few perforation lines. You can also manually draw these in if you want to. 
And then I'm just going to change the size to 0.001 this time. I'm going to recenter this to my card. Make sure that you're doing that. And then I am going to um, difference that and my mom SVG into the file. So we want to make sure that there's no glitches. Um, before, one of my heart lines was diff like coming off. And that's how you make a 3D SVG file. You won't be able to see any of these lines like when you're looking at the file, but they are there when you go into node mode. Super cool. Now our next step is to make our backing. This SVG insert's ready to go. If you wanna just put this into a pre-made card, you can definitely do that by just resizing it at this point. But we're gonna make the backing and I make my backings um, five by nine just so I have a, um, a small lip that's equal around the side. And then you can go in and add a score line or perforation lines to that as well um, to make sure that it's right in the middle. And this is actually a great way to double check yourself to make sure that everything is centered properly and looks good. And take your time when making these and give yourself some grace because I cut this like eight times, double checking, trying to figure it out, realigning things. Like you see me here lining things here. Like it takes time to get used to it. I still have so much to learn and I'm going to keep trying these out and making new files for you. Thank you for joining me today in my Inkscape tutorial on how to make a pop-up card. If you gained something from this and you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It helps me a bunch. And if you'd like to, I would love for you to subscribe and stay notified on when I put out new videos and SVG tutorials. Stay crafty.